Welcome to part one of Utah's Mighty Five with dogs. In part one, we'll explore Moab, Arches National Park, and Canyonlands National Park. We headed up from Austin, but this video will just cover Utah. So we'll start in Moab, and then we'll head to Capitol Reef National Park, Bryce Canyon National Park, Zion National Park, and finally we'll finish in Arizona at Grand Canyon National Park. Make sure to get your annual parks pass. It's only $80, so it'll save you money in the long run. Dog safety. Make sure that you show up with a collar for your dog with contact information, just in case. Bring vaccine records. Bring double the water you think you'll drink on hikes. Be careful with the overlooks. Definitely don't hike if it's over 95 degrees. And if it's over 68 degrees, please don't leave your dog in the car, even with the windows rolled down. Moab's a really cool town. It's gateway to arches and canyonlands, the green and Colorado rivers, and it's an amazing destination for hiking, mountain biking, ATVs, rock climbing, and so much more. We chose to stay at the Expedition Lodge. It's pet friendly and they don't charge extra for pets. One of our first stops was the Bark Park and <laughs> Birdie's already inside. Here comes Ronnie. Great spot if your dogs are more comfortable heading to the dog park when they first get to a location. And it's right across the street from Mill Creek Animal Hospital. This is just a stroll through the shops on the main street in Moab. Here's the food truck park. And we stopped to get some quesadillas here. They were delicious. One night we went to Tybella to pick up food. It was great and it's right across from the Barkery. So if you forget a leash or lose something, they've got all kinds of dog supplies if you can't find them at City Market. The next morning we went to Grand Staff Canyon Trail. Here we are pulling up. This is part of the Bureau of Land Management, so you can bring your dogs on these trails. They do need to stay on a leash though. For hiking trails in the national parks, you'll more than likely need to put your dog in a kennel. Some options in Moab are Karen's Canine Campground, Tracy's Bed and Biscuit Kennel, and Moab Veterinary Clinic. So here we go on Grand Staff Canyon Trail. It was so beautiful and we realized the river was going to be running through most of it, which was great for the dogs to cool off, drink some water. You may also want to have your own water for them to drink. Definitely wear some kind of sport sandals if you're going to be walking through the river, which you kind of have to do in some parts. Taking our first water break. So this trail goes about two and a half miles to Morning Glory Arch or Morning Glory Bridge. Um, it's really beautiful, but it is a long trail. I definitely don't recommend doing it when it's hot out. Um, the first half or so has lots of river access, but the second half is pretty hot and sunny. Some other trails that we thought about going to, Corona and Bowtie Arches are really popular for dogs. Um, they are full sun though, and it was getting pretty warm, so we decided not to do those. I also heard good things about Mary Jane Canyon and Professor Creek. Another idea that we had was to go with Moab Rafting and Canoe Company to take an all-day canoe trip down the river. 
It sounded fun, but it was really hot and we were just worried about the heat and the sun. So we didn't do that on this trip. I got so much footage from this trail because it was just so beautiful. Here's a little scramble spot. And then we put Ronnie in her backpack. She was getting a little tired. I'll link the backpack. And here we are at the arch. A little pool, some shade. It was absolutely beautiful. That evening we headed to Arches. Again, you can't take dogs on the trails in most of the national parks, so we decided just to do a scenic drive and we had the dogs with us and left them in the car with the air conditioner on uh, and just walked to the viewpoint of Delicate Arch. You can keep the dogs in the campground at Devil's Garden in Arches but we decided just to go for the scenic tour. Here we are at Delicate Arch. You can see it in the distance there. The next day we went to Dead Horse State Park. You cannot miss this state park. The view is outrageous. Um, here's a campground. Uh, you can bring the dogs there. Again, we just decided to do the scenic tour with the dogs. We left them in the car in the air conditioning and headed out to this amazing viewpoint. Honestly, after seeing the Grand Canyon, I still think this is the best viewpoint I've seen. The Grand Canyon may be much bigger, but this specific point is just unbelievable. And if you have some time, you can walk along the Rim Trail we just decided to take in the view for a few minutes and head back to the car. Just a few minutes further is Canyonlands National Park and it does have three sections. This is the island in the sky section. Um, you can go further out to the needles or the maze, but we decided just to check out the island in the sky section. It's a huge park. <laughs> So again, we had the dogs, just did the scenic drives and overlooks. Uh, basically, the name says it all. You're really high up and just heading out and looking at these deep canyons. You can take the dogs to the campground in an island in the sky called Willow Flat, or if you're in the Needles, you could go to Squaw Flat. Just more and more beautiful views. And later that day, we headed out to Ken's Lake. It's part of the Bureau of Land Management, um, so just free public space. You can bring the dogs, there are hiking trails. Again, it was really hot and sunny, so we didn't hike. Um, but the dogs are free to be off leash here, which is nice, and they can swim in the lake. Uh, it was just a great place for them to cool off and have some fun. Lots of dogs to play with. So as we wrap up this video, um, just so you know, part two will cover Capitol Reef National Park and Bryce Canyon National Park. You don't want to miss that. Uh, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted for the next video. And if you want to, you can follow Ramble with Ronnie on Instagram. Have a great day.